This year's film production students won Unitech's Safety Shield for achieving zero harm in all of their productions last semester. Given the scope of their work, the long hours, the number of people involved, weather, fatigue and not forgetting the actual stunts, making sure everyone went home safe every day was achieved not by good luck but by active positive management. Planning for zero harm. Safety was integrated as part of the process for producing a film from pitching the idea, approval processes, set production to writing a production safety plan. Basically what we had to do was go through the script, read what it said and then I was working with the director to sort of work out how she wanted the action to play out and then once we sort of worked out you know there was going to be sort of a fight scene we needed to get a safety officer on board and a stunt coordinator. He obviously read the script, got his own interpretation and then he came in and worked with the actors, did a rehearsal to coordinate the scene with the director in a safe way. We didn't actually get our actors to push and shove each other or punch each other, they actually faked it. Basically, their culture was, if it could be made safer, do it. Um, we needed a spotter, which was me, and so I went into the pool with a wetsuit, uh, making sure that um, the kids didn't fall in because the, the castle was quite young. Understanding their hazards. Taking the time to understand the hazards of their production included researching their locations in advance, bringing in stunt professionals to show how to do stunts safely, checking gear, traffic management, working as a team and crew welfare. Say if we're putting a light above a table and some actors are around a table, then all the actors get cleared out. You do the work and then you bring the actors back. Then you've got to put the lamp on the stand and if you don't put it on properly it'll fall off and it'll hurt your foot but if it's in the in the grid it's even more dangerous because it could kill you. At the start of the semester all the students went through first aid training so they could help each other out on set if something did go wrong. On film sets we need to make sure that all the crew are safe from the elements. Uh, we always advise them to bring all type like clothing for different situations like sun, rain, etc. The lighting department make, have to make sure that nothing's going to fall over and get damaged or land on somebody else. Every year we spend about six hours of just not tying all the physical stuff that we need to do, you know, especially when you're outside, you're not in the safety of a studio which is nice and comfortable. And, although it's still dangerous, but it's, it, you know, it doesn't involve the elements. Calling out unsafe behaviour. Caring for the crew was the culture on set. When people stepped outside the culture, for example, kids messing around on set, or leaving cables on a main walkway, they were called out on it and asked to fix it. I try and encourage people to look around at things like, you know, there's people leave piles of cables. You know, I'm usually the one, because I'm older, that I can see, ah, that's a potential danger. Kids actually wanted to jump into the pool, but it was actually quite freezing and it was quite good that we had a wetsuit on because it was just absolutely freezing even though it didn't look like it. You know, filmmaking's not just fun, it's, it's common sense. 